Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam. Guys, do you ever have trouble keeping it up? You know, you're having a good time, everybody's having a good time, you're busting some sweet moves, and then BAM! You're pointing straight down. If not you, perhaps you know someone who struggles with this. And I want you to know, this is very common, especially among FPV pilots, and not something to be embarrassed by. But, I may have a solution for you to keep it from ever happening again. And of course, I'm talking about when you're flying your FPV quadcopter, and then BAM! You crash, and your action camera gets knocked forward by the impact. And for the rest of the flight, it's just recording the ground. Doesn't that just burn your muffins? I know mine are burnt. Many times that has burned my muffins. That's why I created this 3D printed GoPro mount with a built-in forward tilt stop. With this mount, the maximum forward angle is positive 10 degrees of up tilt, so you won't ever have to look at the ground again. I'll tell you more about it and where you can download it absolutely free right after I tell you about today's sponsor, PCBWay. In case you don't know, PCBWay makes custom printed circuit boards. That's what PCB stands for. So if you're working on a DIY electronics project, maybe you've designed a circuit board, you can send that file to them. They can create that circuit board and they have many types of circuit board material to choose from. And not only that, but they can actually assemble all of the components of your choosing from their thousands of components and then they can send you the assembled circuit board so it's ready to go as soon as you open it. They also offer rapid prototyping services like 3D printing because maybe you don't have a 3D printer and you want to make this mount, they can get that for you. They also offer CNC machining, sheet metal bending, and injection molding. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, go check out PCB Way, link down in the description of this video. Now let's get back to this super sweet mount. This mount uses a standard 5mm GoPro mounting screw and nut, and 3mm mounting screws to attach it to the drone. Right now I have models available with hole spacing for the iFlight Sedora, which is 25 by 36 millimeters, the AOS 5.5, which is 32 by 32 millimeters, and the Ven Drone, which is 25 by 25 millimeters. I also made a model with just the top section so that you can more easily create a model with your own custom base plate and hole spacing. When printing, I suggest using TPU filament. I use Sane Smart TPU and print it solid with six or more walls and 100% infill for maximum strength. There are also two slots for zip ties in case you need to mount it without screws. During testing, I did note that the zip tie slots create a weak point in the design. So if you want extra durability, just fill those in with your 3D modeling program of choice. Also note that this crash happened in cold weather, which makes the TPU less flexible and more likely to break as it did. I think in warmer weather, it will be much more durable.
You can download all of these 3D models for free to print your own from my website, rcwithadam.com, in the 3D printing section, and I'll have a link to that in the description below this video. If you do print this and fly it, please let me know how it's working for you and tag me at rcwithadam if you post any pictures or video of it on Instagram. Keep flying, keep printing, keep creating, and thanks for watching. This is my radio voice.